The city of New York is sinking. New research says the combination of massive skyscrapers and sea level rise could make the city more prone to natural disasters. Gabrielle Fami has more on the science behind the report in the first of the two-part series. Few things are more iconic than the New York City skyline. But stunning new research says it's falling into the sea one millimeter at a time. Normally, when you build a new building, it will sink a little bit following the construction. But usually, it will stop sinking in a few months. But uh, there are some additional sinking may happen. A team at the University of Rhode Island took on the daunting task of estimating the weight of the more than one million buildings that make up New York City. The answer? Almost one trillion kilograms of concrete, steel and glass. That's pushing down the ground, slowly causing it to drop ever closer to the sea, which is also rising. How fast New York is sinking varies throughout the city. Midtown Manhattan's built on rock, which compresses very little, but parts of lower Manhattan, Brooklyn and Queens sit on looser soil, and that's sinking much faster. Wall Street is no more than one to two meters above sea level. Down near the financial district, the city has expanded its footprint using artificial fill especially on the coastline. That makes the ground more vulnerable to gravitational forces from the weight of the buildings because it's not as compact as the natural landscape. As a result, the land there is sinking twice as fast, at a rate of up to four millimeters per year. Combine that with a sea level that's projected to rise anywhere between 20 and 75 centimeters in the next quarter of a century, things are getting pretty close. The important takeaway here is this, so what? What next? What do we do with, with this important study? And that's where the policy comes into play. That's where we, we have the responsibility to integrate this data, the, this science, with other uh, climate science and other uh, science talking about the impacts. And in a city that's seen some devastating floods over the last few years, residents agree. Frankly, I was a little surprised after Hurricane Sandy that more wasn't done because so many homes were destroyed. Places, apartment buildings in the city suffered. I think overall we need to be looking to policymakers to think about climate change resilience and risk mitigation going forward. The researchers say it's not an emergency just yet, but they wanted to provide the science to help with future planning. The point, they say, is that every additional high-rise along the water might contribute to future flood risks. But for now, construction is showing no sign of stopping. Gabrielle Fami, CNA, New York.